Did you tag me? <sighs> huh? Damn you. Can't see anyone. Oh, gotta turn the camera. Hi! Is it on? Yes. Oh, we're live. Hi. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome to our second episode of Whiny Palooza Wednesday. Yeah, Ella. Our, no need to whine, it's Whiny Palooza Wednesday. Have some wine and join us on Whiny Palooza Wednesday with the green family. Yay. Hi. Oops, I'm trying to go. Yeah. Hey, Daddy, who are the two people watching? Okay, so that's behind, but we need it for the comments. Yes, I will watch the comments. Um, so don't look at me. I have no makeup on, and my hair isn't done because I was up all night with my daughter, Lily. Lily is not feeling well and was up all night and cried all day. So Seth and I are... Ah! <laughs> We're Seth and I are whining today. Yes. <laughs> Um, we say what? <laughs> I can't see. No, I don't know. Let me type the comments. Um, so where to begin? Um, I wore my favorite new shirt for everybody to see. She's a self-proclaimed chaos queen. Can you All see right, it? So we got Richard Asbel. We got hi Richard. We got David Yorka. Hi, we got some other Pete. people I can't see yet. Hi, right. whiny Pete. The town, Ella. All right, that's what we're calling the whiny. Um, that's what we're calling the fan base, the whiny Pete. The whiny peeps. Oh, okay. Okay, wonderful. Ella is so creative. So I'm wearing my Chaos Coordinator shirt, which couldn't be more appropriate today because um, you all know we got a puppy um, a week ago. Is it a week ago today? Yep, a week ago. Week ago. One, yep, last Wednesday. One week ago at this time, Seth walked in the door with our new puppy, Tanner. Max is outside running him right now. And Lily is um, falling asleep on the couch, not feeling well. So you only have three of us today. Um, we are super tired. Um, stop. I want to tell you um, about my husband and our topic today. Uh -oh. um, this is improv. I don't know what's coming. He doesn't know at the topic and he doesn't know what's coming. So um, Seth knew that I was up all night. Seth took the puppy and I took Lily. We kind of divided and conquered. And um, he knew that I was up all night with Lily crying all night. And so um, when I woke up this morning and came downstairs to make lunches, okay. he, had, all right, David. he had his uh, pajamas on and was asleep with Tanner on the couch and told me that he was going to work at home and help me. And um, I couldn't have felt more loved in that moment. Oh, she's, she's moving. You she can, she doesn't moving. stop. Ella doesn't stop talking. So it's hard for me to focus on anything that I'm saying. But um, so I wanted to talk to you about marriage today. And I wanted to talk to you about love languages. Because Seth and I have completely opposite love languages. And I want you to know that your spouse probably needs different things to feel loved than you do. And we've had to talk about that. So for me, when Seth says, I'm staying home to work at home today and help you, I don't think there's anything that could have made me feel more loved. Um, when he helps me with the kids, when he helps me with the house, when he um, you know, fills my tank with gas without telling me, those are all things that make me feel so, so loved. And um, I wanted to ask Seth, because we have different different things make us feel loved. What makes you feel loved? Okay, so <laughs> um, we're, I'm flying without a safety net here because we didn't plan this. So Rebecca is kinesthetic, which she is a feeling and action based love language person. So hers, she's like, talk is cheap, do it. So I have, so I will physically do something that makes her feel loved. And that's my assessment of her love language. I am auditory. So to me, I want to hear it. So I am, I will always say, um, don't say things you don't mean. She will sometimes be angry <laughs> and uh, swear, <laughs> say things she doesn't mean. And two days later, I'll, she'll say, why are you doing something? I'll say, well, you called me this. And she said, well, I didn't mean that. And I said, well, then why did you say it? Um, one of the lines that she's probably tired of hearing over the last 15 years is I say, I believe what you tell me. Um, so if you don't 
think that's true, then you gotta scroll up to see comments. There you go. Then don't say it. So what would make me feel more loved is if um, <laughs> she had better control over her word choices when she was in uh, when she's in an unresourceful emotional state. How's that? Good job. Did you He's been that? telling me that for fourteen years. I swear I'm working on it. Have I gotten better at all? Yes. I feel made... like I've gotten better. Okay. okay what she, you wait, mean, wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. We gotta qualify that. So she had gotten much better and made a lot of progress and then we got a puppy. So we've taken a couple steps back because she is now once again, um, every time we had a baby, we went a couple steps back. Puppy's worse than a baby. No, it's not. Heart. No, it's not. So we've taken a couple steps back simply because of the excess sleep deprivation. So when you are sleep deprived and have been up every couple hours and this time it's not a baby, she can't nurse in her warm cozy bed and go back to sleep. One of us has to go outside in the freezing cold snow and hang out with the dog outside while he does his business or until he's ready to come in, which might be not two seconds, not two minutes. It might take 10, 15 minutes to get him back in. And then you got up and you got to get back to sleep and you're freezing. So I would think the added sleep deprivation and stress <laughs> makes it worse. Thanks, honey. And they had, they, at least that wasn't He's a bad... He's off on a tangent. No, I answered the freaking question. <laughs> We love when you talk. I won't do that. I so, love so, you. <laughs> so I want to summarize what Seth said and tell you guys that. In case they didn't understand my um, clear English. The first year of a baby's life is really hard on your marriage. And the, the first, first year. year of the puppy life will hopefully not be as hard on our marriage because of the sleep deprivation and not spending enough time together and all that sort of stuff. So going back to the topic. Give me the, give me the phone. <laughs> give me some help, people. Yeah. Okay, so going back to the topic. Yeah, daddy. Stop. Oh, sorry. Go go on. My I can't talk. So going back to the you topic know. of love languages. <laughs> Um, I like concrete help. Concrete help makes me feel loved. So I like the, you know, taking out the trash, doing the dishes, um, helping the kids with their homework. Like all of that makes he me feel helped and supported and loved. I love compliments. I love, um, what else do I love? Seth um, will tell you that he really needs time alone without the kids. <laughs> which, which, Where'd she get that one from? Stop. Stop. So this is, this is, so the topic is love languages. So my challenge for you is to go talk to your spouse and ask them what they need to feel loved. I don't want you to assume that you know, um, and I don't want you to assume that they know because everybody has different needs and different wants and everybody feels <laughs> Linda and Richard, what are, what are, what are you guys, you just said you're opposite. What are your guys' love languages? <laughs> One of the languages is when you tell so, them. So, um, I'm trying, emotional, emotional, um. Support. So emotional support, um, listening, conversations, time alone together, date night. Why? What do you need to feel loved by your spouse? And what I hear from my friends all the time is, he didn't, he never brings me flowers or, um, what are some other examples? He never helps me with the dishes. So like they'll say things to me and I'm like, did you ever ask them or tell them? And it might sound stupid, but saying to Seth, once in a while, can you bring me flowers? I know it feels like Stop. a waste of She's money. Fine. I know it feels like a waste of money, but, do and I don't yeah. need it every week and I don't need it every month, but once in a while, I would love you to show up with flowers and actually tell him. And I actually said to him, don't ask me what I want for any holidays. I just want jewelry. That's it. Jewelry. There, there's, okay. She owns every, uh, something, multiple pieces in every category. So this is very tricky because I will say, oh, wow, that's a beautiful heart diamond necklace. She has four different versions of a heart diamond necklace already. To me, he's, he's I, would, I would not want another one of the exact same thing or how many of that do you need? You've already got three and apparently you can never run out. You can never have too many. Yes, Ella. I actually, no, you're not wearing it. I was going to show oh, that. Oh, 
I'm not gonna show them the necklace that I bought. I'm not you. wearing I'm not wearing any jewelry today. Um I like I said, I didn't do my hair, didn't do my makeup, didn't put on jewelry, all three of which I normally do. So I shouldn't be doing a live video right now. I keep... No, this is real and raw and this unedited. Is, this is real raw Rebecca who got real no R -R -R, sleep. R R R, triple R. Real triple R. R cubed. Um, so do you guys have any questions? And, okay, check out the comments. Um, find one of a kind handmade jewelry on Etsy. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you, Linda. Well, I um, it so. I'm going to say to you that every Wednesday we'll be back with family, marriage, child, whatever. Parenting. Parenting. Hi, Elena. And um, you feel free to um, throw out topics that you want Lin us to cover. Yep, Linda says she's quality time and affirmations. Richard left flowers on her car while she was off on a bike ride. I love that. I love that. I think one of my favorite things is when Seth comes home and doesn't tell me that he fills my tank, my gas tank. Of my car because I hate getting gas. Just so, why she's always on E. <laughs> yeah. What does E mean? Empty. So, um, like, just knowing your spouse and knowing things that they hate to do and um, filling that in for them is amazing. So I appreciate when you get me gas. Yep. And I appreciate you staying home today. Yep. He gets super duper major husband father points today for working at home and helping me with the puppy and Lily. Infinity points um, for both of you. So wish me luck tomorrow because I'm sure I believe he's going to work and I believe he's working late. So I've got this puppy. You want to bring him here and we'll show everybody and then we'll go. Um, I've got this puppy and this wonderful son who took the puppy out to run. Twice, you were potty twice. Okay, yay, Tanner went potty outside. Say hi, everybody. Say, I'm a handful who likes to bite everybody. <laughs> oh, baby boy. So, ah, wish me luck tomorrow yeah, with the puppy and um, the sick child who hopefully will feel better tomorrow. Oh, baby So, um, Ella, take us out. Yes, thank it's, you. It's funny, Blues on Wednesday. Thank you for coming. <laughs> That's the new outro theme song. How about thank you for watching? Thank you for watching. <laughs> He's adorable with sharp puppy teeth. Yes. <laughs>